YouTube, what it do? Back in it bit with an early morning banger, y'all. All right, so look, I'm hungry as fuck. It's like 11 o'clock right now. I'm finna go out to this popular breakfast spot called Breakfast at Barney's. It's downtown in Atlanta, and they got like, you know, celebrities that have went here, like Lotto, some other famous people. Apparently, like, you know, this place is like kind of pricey type shit, but I get paid tomorrow, so I really don't care. But we gonna check this shit out. You know what I'm saying? Get some brunch, get some breakfast. Finna head out there right now, man. Let's go. Yeah. I know you hear me. I know you hear me call. I ain't pick up the phone. Y'all. <coughs> Oh, fuck. Y'all see I'm downtown with it. Just got off the train. I'm walking to the breakfast spot. It's like right across from me. I did a pickup order on Uber Eats. Like they be on Uber Eats. I don't know if they on DoorDash or shit like that. But my order is ready. So I'm finna pick that shit up. <coughs> right now. All right, y'all, I done got the grub. Like I said, I picked up my order, my shit was ready. It was a little bougie in there, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, gang. I was gonna film inside and show like the ambience and shit, but I felt like I was just too ghetto and out of place. So I was like, nah, fuck it. All right, y'all, so off rip alone, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. For a, a bougie, you know, kind of pricey, expensive restaurant, you would think they would serve a better bag than this, bro. All it is is a white bag, and then they just threw this bullshit ass sticker on it, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of whack, no cap. But my whole total ran me $52, bro. I ordered this shit called the Emperor's Breakfast, where it come with cheese grits, spicy veggie sausage, and then I got scrambled eggs with that. And then last, I got some 24 karat gold pancakes, bro. The pancakes alone. $29. But keep in mind, it's 24 carats, though. You feel me? This is the first time I'm ever eating gold, so we're gonna see how this shit hit it, man. Okay, here we go. Y'all see it? Pancake 24 carat. You feel me? Let's see what these hoes looking like. Hold on. What? This is one big ass pancake. Actually, three big ass pancakes. And then this is like the gold. It has like some edible flowers in there. I think it got some fruit. Let me see. Whoa, look at that. I got some blueberries, got some strawberries at the bottom, some pineapples. Bruh, I know this is not just the only amount of gold though. Like what the fuck? Oh my God, I'm touching gold. It's so flaky and it's just like falling apart. I can't let this fall cause that's like at least like $10 worth of gold just falling on the ground, no cap. I wish they put it on the pancake though instead of just you know, put it on a cup like this, but we gonna see. And then last, this is the Emperor's Breakfast, some shit like that. Oh, y'all seeing it, man. These are the eggs right here. I ain't gonna lie, them eggs looking kind of whack. They looking like some fucking Waffle House eggs, some basic ass eggs. They already off rip, don't even look that pleasing. Then in that cup, that's the grits. And then this is the spicy veggie sausage. Never had veggie sausage before, so we gonna see what that whole hitting on, man. So off rip, I'ma start with like the Emperor's Breakfast. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna save that 24 karat gold shit for the last. <coughs> I'm gonna get into the sauces first. Like I said, never had veggie sauces before. It's supposed to be spicy. Let's see though. It's not too far off from like regular sausage, but you can tell like this ain't really real sausage, if that makes sense. It has like a fake taste to it. It's like an uncanny valley type of event when it comes to this type of food, bro. You see, when it comes to veggie food, they try to imitate it like real meat and shit like that, but there's always something slightly off about it. Definitely has that spice. I like the seasoning on it, but just the meat alone kind of, uh, kind of got a funny, weird taste to it, bro. No cop. <clears throat> so next, I'm gonna get into these scrambled eggs, y'all. Like I said, they already don't look that pleasing. Y'all see, it looks like no seasoning on that hoe. I'm gonna get like a little bite size right there. The way I be calling this shit is just crazy, bro. I knew it, bro. Like you could tell, you don't even have to try it for real, bro. Eggs are bland as hell. They're not like real scrambled eggs. I'm talking about if you was to make scrambled eggs at home, it would be way better than this, bro. Way better than this. This is like IHOP level type of scrambled eggs. Nah, just not it, bro. So I ain't gonna lie off rip. <clears throat> The grits looking a little cheesy, a little creamy. Looking like some oatmeal type shit. They all right. Hold on, let me get one more bite. I don't know, for good measure. 
Okay, it definitely got cheese in there. I feel like it needs more. Like when I order cheese grits, I want them to be like cheesy as hell. Like when you pick it up, it got the cheese pull and everything. See, look, it don't got a cheese pull to it. It's just kind of, I, I, I really don't know. I don't even think they use like American cheese. They probably use some type of white cheese like Parmesan or mozzarella or some shit. I don't even think they use mozzarella because mozzarella got like a more pool, you know, a little cheese pool than this shit. I don't know, bro. So far as the flavor, it's kind of lacking, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It definitely needs some more salt, some more pepper, some type of seasoning, bro. I don't know. They gave me like a salt and pepper packet with the uh the fork and the spoon. I'm gonna add some salt in. Hopefully that does it some justice, man. Add that pepper in too. Tell me what it do. Now we got that salt and pepper mixed up into it. So with the salt and the pepper, definitely add some flavor to it. Definitely makes the grits better. But the fact that I have to add salt and pepper to it to make it better means that they grits was already ass, bro. Feel me? Like when you order food, that shit should already have flavor in it. It should already have seasoning. So if you have to add more seasoning just to make it better, that's how you know like off rip, bro. This shit ain't really hitting like that, gang. Especially if I'm paying $18 for all this shit, bro. That means the grits alone had to be like, this little cup alone had to be like at least six, $7, really. If you think about it, if you do the math, just not really worth the price that you pay for it, bro. I'm kind of disappointed. I just spent $20 on just a mid ass plate alone. Like, come on, bro. So now we're finna move on to these pancakes. Bro, look at this shit. Like, how can I get it on the pancake, bro? Like, it's more scraped up on the fork than it is with the... Oh, my God, bro. Okay, y'all see it? I done put the gold on it. And then this is the syrup with it. It's not like regular syrup. It's supposed to be like some some maple, like bourbon syrup or, syrup or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Pour it on like that. It's been a hot minute since I had pancakes. So I really hope these hit like off rip, bro, for real. Like I said, I love the size. It's not the fluffiest. Like, it's a little fluffy, but not, like, too crazy, if that makes sense. So, I, like, I'm pretty sure you really can't even taste the gold, for real. You definitely can't taste it, bro. That shit is there for a special effect, bro. They just want to give you the illusion of, like, oh, this nigga eating gold pancakes. But you ain't tasting it, for real, though. Not the biggest fan of blueberries, but they add a little moisture, a little juice to the pancake, so I kind of fuck with that. So now I got the flour on there. This is a big-ass flour, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like they just picked this shit, like, out of somebody's garden, and they just threw it on a pancake and was like, here, nigga, eat this shit. <laughs> It just tastes like a fucking flower, bro. I never ate a flower. I never just picked up a flower and was like, oh, let me try this shit. But if I was to pick up a flower and just try that shit, this is exactly how I'm expecting it to taste. It really adds no substance. Like literally all of these fruit, the gold, the flower, all it does is just make the pancakes look pretty. As far as enhancing a flavor, making the pancakes taste better and delicious. It ain't doing that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, these pancakes are decent, but paying $30 for this is just highway robbery, bro. Overall flavor review on these, I'm giving them a six. Slightly above mid, but other than that, that that's it. The look wise with the flour, the gold, I'll give like an eight. As far as the emperor's breakfast, before I added the salt and pepper, I'm gonna give them a straight five. Like they cheesy, I like the consistency, lacking flavor, bro. Once you add the salt and the pepper, it drop up to like a solid 6.5. Once again, nothing crazy, bro. Definitely not worth spending all that money on it. The eggs, mid as fuck. IHOP level flavor type of eggs, bro. School breakfast cafeteria eggs, bro. Mid as fuck. I gotta give the eggs like a solid four, bro. Straight like that. <laughs> it just, like there's, bro, I want y'all in the comments to like see if you see a lick of salt a lick of pepper on that hoe and i'm not adding salt and pepper i got some more salt and pepper but i'm not finna add it on these because it's still mid you get what i'm saying of course it's going to make it taste a little better but just off rip when they give the food to you it should already be flavorful bro it should already be seasoned i shouldn't have to add the seasoning myself like i said solid four bro the plate as a whole oh wait hold up I forgot to try the sausage again. One more time for good measure, you feel me? It's not it, bro. It's not it. Only thing they delivered on was the spice. It's definitely spicy, definitely got that spice to it. It got a nice little, just a little herb-like flavor to it, but just flavor alone, hell nah, bro. And this is another reason why I won't go vegan, bro. 
I never ate some bomb ass vegan food that made me be like, hey, you know what? Let me go vegan now, cause this shit is actually good. No, this shit is ass, bro. This some regular vegan sausage. It tries to imitate real sausage, but sometimes, bro, art just does not imitate life, man. You feel me? I'm gonna have to give this plate a solid five, bro. Most mid plate ever. Paid $20 for all this, and it's just not it, bro. Real talk. But other than that, bro, this place mid, bro. Real talk. I'm a star forever, boy. No, this not the enemy. I'm a star forever, boy. No, this not the enemy.